Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix high CPU usage on Battlefield 2042. This tutorial will be quick and simple, just make sure to subscribe to this channel and leave a like on this video if you will find this guide useful. First of all, you want to make sure that your NVIDIA drivers are up to date and install them. Now if that will not fix the problem, then you want to go ahead and go to your task manager and you want to open up a notepad. So on notepad, I'm going to write down uh, these ones. So it's thread processor count, max processor count, and then uh, GST rendered thread max processor count. So these will be, these numbers will be different for uh, you because your processor will be different. But what you want to do is go ahead and open up performance on task manager and choose CPU. And now you will see cores and logical processors. So these are my numbers like 10, 10 and 16, as you can see. So you want to write down here, you want to write down your cores and on the last one, you want to write down logical processors. So once you will write them down, you want to go ahead and write them here. And now you want to save this file and you want to save it uh, on your it really depends if you are using EA app or Steam app. If you are using Steam app, you want to go ahead to Steam. Uh, so it would be here, program files, then Steam, then common apps. I want to go ahead and uh, Steam apps and then common. And here you will find your battlefield. Now you want to choose all files and you want to rename this file to user.cfg. And once you will write that down, uh, user.cfg, you want to go ahead and save it uh, to uh, Steam. Now, if you are using EA app, it will be a little bit different. We need to find where we want to save it. So on EA games, Battlefield, you cannot save it here on EA because you need permission. So if you have a game file here, you want to go ahead and save it there. Uh, you can go ahead and do this right there and just save it like so. But as you can see, it doesn't let me. So you want to find the place where you can save it. But basically, this is more specifically for, for uh, Steam application. And after you will save it to Steam, you want to go ahead and uh, yeah, check out if that fixed your problem. And if it will fix your problem, then please leave a like, subscribe to this channel, and I will see you next time.